So here's a little tutorial how to create a triptych. For that, we'll need three images. I will go to File and open one of them. Here's the first of my images. But when you open a second image, you would like to open it in a layer, so that open as layer. So here's my second image. And open as layers, third image. Now you will see that they will appear on the right side in the list of layers. But of course, these images do not fit uh, in my uh, overall image. So I need to increase the size of it. That is called canvas. So I can increase it by going to image and choosing canvas size. Now here, how much do I need to increase it? It's hard to tell. By default, it shows you pixels, right? So you would need to multiply this by three because we have three images. But this is not useful. Uh, it's easier to go to percent and say, I would like to increase the size of my canvas horizontally 330%. Why 330? You will see in a second. I would like to leave some space for margins. Uh, therefore, or for borders, I will also increase to 130% height. So now I have some, as you can see in preview, some room for borders around my images. So I'll click resize. And now my images do fit into uh, my overall image size. I can use Mover tool to move my layers around and decide which layer will be first, second, and third. But as you can see, they are not the same size. And I need to slice them to get equal slices for three images in my triptych. So first of all, this layer is too tall. So first I would like to find out how tall our other images are. So I can resize this and make it smaller. So I'll click into the layer where I have this image and choose layers and choose scale layer. In scale layer, I can see the height of this image is this number, 3456. I can copy it and then now I can apply this height to this layer by going to layers, scale layer, and I'll simply paste it into height. Since our uh, width and height are locked together, it will proportionally change the width also. Now I can click scale and this first layer will become as tall as the other. Now I'm ready to make my slices. I'd like to have kind of this uh, vertical portrait orientation slices. So I'll take this image as my example. I'll choose the rectangle select tool, select this layer. Remember to always zoom in to have a better, more precise selection. Now I'll do the same thing for the other corner, just to make sure I got it right. Okay, that's good enough. So now uh, I will use this selection to apply it to the other, so to the other layers. I'll grab it by the middle and drag it. In this case, uh, rule of thirds is not going to work for me, so I'm going to center it and use the symmetry. Again, you can zoom in to make sure that you selected it correctly. Looks right. And now I can click Layers, Crop to Selection. So as I do this, let's watch this. Layers, Crop to Selection. Whoops, what did just happen? I lost one of my layers. Why? Well, it turns out that when I was cropping, I selected the wrong layer. So let me undo this, Edit, Undo. And now see, I thought I selected this layer, but the layer with the first image is current. So please make sure that you select proper layer when you crop to selection. So this is the layer that I want to change. So let me do this layer, crop to selection, and now did it correctly. I'll use the same selection to choose portion of the next image. So let me see if it's selected properly. Okay, that's good enough. I think now just a little bit lower, one pixel lower. Okay. I think this is good enough, and I'll crop this one. Did I select it? No, I did not select, me. select it. Go to Layers, and crop to selection. So now all of my uh, layers are identical size, uh, identical images, so I can select None to remove my selection. And now I can start moving them around.
but it would be very hard for me to align them properly because it's pixel by pixel. That's why in GIMP uh, and other editors you have uh, magnetic guides. You can grab one from the ruler and drag it into your image, put it approximately where you would like to have your border, and now if you move the image, it'll magnetically stick to this guide. So I can do the same thing here. Maybe I'll put this one to the side. Let me see. I'll grab this one, put it in the middle. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So I want to make sure that those layers are placed approximately the same. So the border, my goal is to have the border the same around the image and the same between the image, or at least approximately the same. So I'll grab this one because I'm not trying to be precise here. All right, that looks okay. Now I'm ready to crop my image. But first of all, I do not have a nice white background for my triptych. To do that, let me create a new layer. So right here, create a new layer. And I want to make sure that it's not going to be transparent as it is by default, but white. Click OK. And now it's placed somewhere between my layers. So let me grab it and drag it to the very bottom. That looks much better. So now I'm ready to crop. I'll take the cropping tool, select it. Let me zoom in and make sure that it looks nice. All right, does it look about the same? Yeah, that's good. Press Enter, and Triptych is done. Now I'm ready to export it. I go for File Menu, Export As. Make sure when you name it, let me call it Final. I already have a few tryouts here. Uh, that is called .jpg. In that case, all your images are going to be, all your layers are going to be placed together in one and the image will be flattered. So now let's see the result. Go to File menu, Open, and I will open the final. Click Open. And if I press Tab, I can hide all my tools and take a look at the triptych. All right, looks good.